good morning to all myself professor tm devaka working as assistant professor in etc department in sharada institute of technology college of engineering pichiganj so today i am going to cover the construction and working principle of led and oled so today we are going to cover the introduction about the leds working principle of leds advantages and disadvantages of leds what are the application of leds the second point uh, is oled that is organic light emitting diode that is oled in that also we are going to cover the introduction of the about the oleds the working principle of oled advantages and disadvantages of oleds what are the applications of the oleds and the last one we are going to comparison between the oled and led so what is the led led is nothing but a light emitting diode okay so what exactly the led is so led is a essentially a pn junction diode it is a pn junction diode uh, which emits the monochromatic light means monochromatic means it is a single color light when it is uh, emitting the light when it operates in the forward bias conditions forward bias condition means okay means when we apply the voltage between the leads the current starts flowing in the circuit that is called as a forward bias conditions this led converts the electrical energy into the light energy so it is a one type of a transducer also because it converts the electrical energy into the light energy and frequently uh, they are used as a pilot uh, colors in electronic appliances uh, uh, whether to indicate uh, indicate whether the circuit is closed or not the next one is a very important part of the led is a semiconductor chip uh, which is located in the center of the bulb see in the figure so this is the semiconductor chip this is the symbol of leds this is a semiconductor devices and the arrow indicates it emits the lights this is the practical leds they are having two terminals terminal a which is having anode and it is a longer and terminal k that is a cathode it is having negative charge it is it is a negative terminal and it is a shorter than anode this is the flat this is the practical led and this is the construction this is the uh, uh, under constructions or interview of leds in that here it is a semiconductor chip is available look at the figure so this uh, semiconductor chip has uh, two regions regions and which is separated by the junction uh, one is the p region and second one is the n region so in this p region uh, it is it, it involves it uh, dominated by the positive electric charge in p region there are number of holes and in n region it is dominated by negative electrical charge and in n region there are a majority of electrons having the negative charges and the junction it acts as a barrier to flow the electrons between the p and n regions so what exactly the current in the devices when a sufficient voltage is applied to the chip that is the semiconductor chips and which is having in the two terminals the electrons which is available in n region they cross the junctions and they are transfer into the p regions and this results in a current flow so this is the constructions 
of LED. At the bottom of this construction, there is a substrate layer. That substrate may be the plastic, may be foils, may be solid. Upon which there are three layers, P type, which consists holes having the positive electric charge. In between, there is the active region. From that uh, from that region, the light emits in all directions. And in the n-type layer, there are a number of electrons. So, what exactly the working principle of LED? See, this is the practical LED here. I am showing you. This is the positive terminal. This is the negative terminal. This is the flat side. Okay. Uh, in the center of this LED, there is a electron chips. And there are reflectors. Okay, so let us see the working principle of LED. When the sufficient voltage is applied to the chief across the leads of the LED, so these are the leads of the LED, negative and positive. When you apply the voltage, but sufficient voltage, that operating voltage is is in between a 1.2 volt to 3.2 volt. So electrons can move easily in only one directions across the junction between the P and N region. And when a voltage is applied and the current starts to flow, the electrons in N regions they will get the sufficient energy to move across the junction into the P region. And each time an electron recombines with the positive charge, that is the holes. The electric potential is converted in the electromagnetic energy. So in this figure, this is the P region, this is the N region. When the voltage is applied between the leads of the chief, the electrons which is in the N region, they will get the sufficient energy and they will cross, they are, they start to move from towards the junction so this is the junction this is the junction and they recombine with the positive charge means holes which is available in p region so for each recombination of negative and positive charge the electromagnetic energy is emitted in the form of photons of light and the efficiency of the light is depends upon the semiconductor materials uh, which is usually a combination of chemical elements so gallium arsenic phosphorus so efficiency of the light is totally depends upon the semiconductor material so as in the figure here it is showing the forward bias because the led emits the light when it is in forward bias condition so here we very here you come to know what exactly the forward bias so see here this is the voltage battery you have applied across the two terminals that is the this is the p region this is the n region in p region there are a number of holes these are the number of holes in n region there are number of electrons this is the flow of current in arrow in black arrow indicating that is the it is a flow of current so when this voltage is applied to the terminal the electrons in the pin region will get the sufficient energy and they see here they are moving towards the junction this is the depletion region or this is the pn junction and they recombines with the p holes in the p regions and hence they are generates the electromagnetic energy in the form of photons of lights So what are the disadvantages of the LEDs? Sorry, the, what are the advantages of the LEDs? First one is the energy efficient. Energy efficient means what? Uh, LED produces more light per watts. 
second advantage is, is long life, life lifetime means uh, led is having 60000 hours or more than next one it is rigid in nature means uh, led is made up of solid material so there is no breaking breakage like filaments so no warm off period means led achieve full light full bright lights in a nanoseconds it will not take more time next one is uh, it is not affected by cold temperature means uh, we can use the led in sub zero weather also directional means uh, led uh, direct the light where you want so these are the advantages of the leds next what are the disadvantage of the leds led is uh, very expensive than other light uh, lighting technologies uh, so led uh, requires very accurate voltage and constant current flows if you give the excess current or voltage uh, it will get damage so it needs very accurate voltage or current and current that current should be very constant can shift the color uh, due to age and temperatures and this led cannot be used in a high temperature because leads are very thin and device may get failure so our applications of leds are many more areas first one as everybody knows that vehicle indicators lights brake lights in that we are using leds next one is uh, in currently advanced bmw integrate high power leds cars that is the audi and emw these are the cars next one is a mobile phone flashlights next led screens for advertising and informations next and due to the low power consumptions uh, and small in size and long life leds are used in many electrical equipments so nowadays airports hotels subways shopping centers and some home failures leds are used led based traffic signals have been successful and is also growing rapidly so these are the applications of the leds so our next point is uh, organic light emitting diode that is a oled so the introduction about the oled is what so this oled is, is it is also a light emitting diode but uh, which is emissive electro luminescent layer and it is composed of a film of organic component compounds means in oled a electro luminescent layer is an organic semiconductor material which is sandwiched between the two electrodes and one of the electron is a very transparent so these are the snapshot of the organic led that is the this is the film of see here in this figure this is the film organic compounds these are the leds what about the histories of the leds so first oled device uh, was developed by istman Kodakin in 1987 so in 1996 uh, the pioneer produces the world's first commercial pm oleds in 2000 main companies like motorola lg they developed the various displays uh, which is based upon the oleds in 2001 uh, sony developed the world's largest full color oleds so in 2002 approximately 3.5 millions passive matrix oleds sub displays were sold and over 10 millions were sold in 2003 in 2010 and 2011 many companies announced this am oleds displays so many developments had takes place in 2012 so this is the structure of an oled let us discuss about the structure of an OLED so there are layers of available in the structure of OLEDs we'll see here 
first one is the substrate and the substrate it may be a plastic glass or foil see in this figure the bottom layer is a substrate layer and it may be a plastic it may be a glass or it may be a foil next one is the anode anode is a transparent layer and anode removes the electrons when the current starts through the device see the next layer is this, these are the anode layers anodes layers are a very transparent and they remove the electrons when the current starts flowing in the devices next organic layers they it contains two layers one is conducting layer and second one is a emission layer come to the figure so these two green color and orange color are the uh, organic layers it consists two layers one is the emission layer uh, which is made up of organic molecules or polymers second one is the conducting layer which is also made up of organic molecules and polymers so conducting layer it is a conducting layer used uh, so one conducting polymer is used in oled is a poly aniline and this is a very transparent next one is emission layer it is also made up of organic plastic molecules and that transport electrons from the cathode this is where light is made and one polymer is used in emission layer that is a polyfuran so this is the conducting layer this is the emission layer the last one is a cathode the cathode may be or may not be the transpa transparent and it is totally depends upon the types of the leds the cathode inject the electrons injects the electrons when the current starts flow uh, flowing through the devices See, these are the structural of the polyaniline and polyfluoren which is used in the emission layer and conducting layer so this is the how the light is creating in the oled see in the first figure this is the construction how exactly it works here it is showing in three figures in figure number 1 this is the figure number 1 the electric current flows from the cathode to the anode the first layer is a cathode and that current flows from cathode to the anode through the organic layers giving electrons to the emission layer and removing electrons from the conducting layer in the second diagram see here observe the diagrams very carefully removing electrons from the conducting layer leaves the holes and that need to be filled with the electrons in the emission layer and the last diagram is observed you can observe the last diagram see the holes jumps to the emission layer and recombines with the electrons as the electron drop into the holes and they release their extra energy as called as a light this is the light so what are the advantages of the oled they are faster response time than lcd they consume significantly less energy they can be transparent when half it is flexible it is comfortable displays thinner displays safer for the environment so wide viewing angles up to 170 degrees oled refresh almost 1000 times than the lcds they are available in low cost materials and fabrications methods it is very less expensive than the lcd due to the lesser component and can be can be made using the plastic screens so these are some snapshots we showing the difference between the lcd and oled see here in this diagram uh, these these images showing through the oled very clearly and this is the lcd look at the viewing angles by viewing angle because in oled the viewing angle is nearly about 170 degree so thickness this is the thickness of the oled and in the second third diagram it is showing that how clearly it is defined in oled and in lcd it is very it is that much not clear so what are the disadvantages so oled oled um, having some problems 
while red and green oled films have longer lifetimes so blue organics currently have much shorter lifetimes means up to around 14000 hours currently manufacturing is more expensive than lcds so water can easily damage the oleds so overall luminance degradations are available means limited market availability what are the applications of the oleds in display source we are using oleds in mobile phones displays we are using oleds in some keyboard technique techniques also in in uh, in, in keyboard keys we are using also uh, oleds digital watches light sources we are using the oleds so these are some snapshots about the leds so what are the difference between the oled and lcds that is the leds uh, it is a greater view angle in oled uh, in a led or lcd it is a limited view angles in oled it is a high contrast in led it is a low contrast so LCD, faster response times in oled in lcd there is a slow response time it do not require backlighting in oled backlighting is must in lcd uh, the temperature range of oled is 50 degrees celsius to 80 degrees celsius the temperature range of lcd is uh, nearly 0 degrees celsius to 100 degrees celsius so these are the differences so thank you